okay I can dream the rest away It's just a little touch of fate It'll be okay It sure takes its precious time But it's got rights and so have I Hello everyone, I'm BJ Style and I was making watch this video and yeah so I do mod reviews, mod spotlights and other micro things on my channel so on my channel so if you like that go over to my channel and yeah so I want to thank too much Micro for giving me the chance to be director for this channel and hopefully you will like my videos and if you don't or you think well I want to see this or this you can just leave a comment I will read all those all those comments and um, yeah so Hello everyone, this time I will do the Belkin's weapons mod, so let's just start. So, these are all the melee weapons, we've got spears, we got halberd, we got knives, we got battle axes, we got warhammers, and we got the fails. And let's start off with the spear, so let's get a diamond one, and the spear is to hunt, you use the spear to hunt a cow, it does less damage than a sword and has a small knockback, and you can also hit mobs from a further uh, distance. And you can throw it, and it will not disappear after you hit it. So you can just throw it like that. So it looks awesome, and yeah, it do does the same damage when you uh, use it as a melee weapon. And you can have it in wood, stone, iron, diamond, or, or gold. So I love to throw with it. So it is a melee weapon and a throwing weapon, both in one. But yeah, it's really awesome. And the crafting recipe will appear on the screen uh, when I talk about it. Alright, next is the Halberd. And the Halberd is to smash creepers in the face. And it does as much damage as a sword and has a big knockback. You can also hit mobs from a bit further distance and right click to switch from slashing to stabbing mode. Um, and that does more damage but has a smaller knockback. And you can make one with wood, stone, iron, diamond, and gold. Right. So let's get a creeper. Oh, I first, of course, need to put my difficulty on easy or something. And let's spawn one. Boom. Right, so. So it's really nice that it's got a big knockback so it won't explode when you hit it. And you can also switch. So now I'm I'm switched into the um, stabbing mode. So yeah, now I'm stabbing, and now I'm um, slashing. Yeah, really awesome weapon. I really love it. And let's put this. Mm, that was a bit weird. Let's put it back, and let's put this one back, and let's get a knife. So, the knife is to step a spider, it does less damage than a sword and has a health and has healthy durability. And let's see. Um, but it's crafted with a very few resources, so less than a sword. And it can be crafted without a workbench. The knockback is small. Um, you can break cobweb easily with it, so that's really nice. And like a spare, you can also throw them. Like you can throw them and you can make them from uh, almost any ore. So let's go, oh, I already got this. Let's spawn sheep and the texture is a bit weird and the skeleton also spawn. So I love to throw it. Like, choo -choo 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 -choo. So really awesome. You can nice throw with it and use like a ninja. Yeah, really awesome. So over here we've got the diamond battle axe. And the battle axe is to shave a sheep, actually kill it, but you get wool of it, of course, with style. And it does as much damage as a sword, but a small amount. But a small amount ignores armor, so it wears armor is less powerful. And it has a larger knockback and does more damage to wooden blocks. And yeah, you can make it with any. Armor. So I can boom, 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 boom. So all that in one hit, and you can collect the wool. And do things with it. So yeah, let's put it back. One. Yeah. Oh, and let's get the warhammer. Any warhammer is there to squeeze a slime. Does as much damage. Oh, over here. Uh, as much damage as um, and as same knockback as a halberd, but it has a huge damage to blocks depending on the weapon material. Uh, hold right right mouse button like this. To uh, 
to charge a super ground smash or whatever you want to call it. You can just call it. Boom! And actually need to reload. As you see, I can do it again right now. And if you hold it for long enough, then release it. You smash the ground so hard that all mobs around you will get hurt. And you make one with wood, stone, diamond, coal, and iron. So yeah, let's get a slot. A big one. Oh, I can just get these small ones. Whew. Well, yeah, so it's really powerful to slimes and it's better. And you can also use it. So, wait, let me just first get a couple of slimes. Why? No, well, alright, let's just use it like this. Yeah, boom. And again. Oh, I can do it again. Whew. Pew. Right, like that. So, it's really awesome weapon. And I love this ground smashing effect. And yeah, really awesome. And let's go to the last weapon. And this is the oh, let's put this back. the flail. And the flail is to swing a pi at Pikmin. Right click to throw it. The ball will follow you where you go. Right click, right clicking again. It again will swing it. Every swing decreases the item's durability. So swing carefully. And you can out of any material. So let's just go to the Nether and kill some Pikmin. So I got a couple of Pikmin over here. And I'll right click it, and you see it will actually like release and I can just do it like this. And I can hit it though, but and after swing decrease the item durability. Okay. Get away. Hmm. It's really work. Right? I can throw it like this. And just throw it from distance. Get away. Yeah, get into the lava. So yeah. A bit weird animation, but yeah, you can actually do with it. And if you want to get it like like the normal, um, how it is normal, just go to an empty slot and then go back to the diamond flail or the flail you want. So let's get back to the normal world and yeah, we'll do some other things. But oh, wait. One thing I'd say, golden weapons do a little more knockback than the other weapons. I forgot to, to mention before, but... Um, yeah, so gold's actually useful right now. Oh, let's just kill this one. Ah, too late, too late, too late. Um, hello, big one. Yeah, they're dead. So, yeah. I got a golden nugget. So, gold is finally more useful for weapons than in the vanilla Minecraft. Because it does more knockback than a regular regular weapon. So, let's go to the other weapons. So, now we are at the Trobol weapons part. And as you know, the spear and the knife are Trobol too. Um, but it can be disabled. This can be disabled in the config file. And... Yeah, so I won't show them. But, let's go to the first throwing weapon. So, this is the javelin. And the javelin, uh, you use it to throw at chickens. You can throw it by holding right mouse button, um, like this, so it will actually go like a um, bow and arrow. But it has more damage than arrows, but it goes less far. And you don't need feathers to craft them, uh, or a bow to shoot them, so it's really awesome. And when you fall uh, downwards, like from a cliff or something, and you have a mob down there and you shoot it, you actually get a critical hit, and it's worth the same when you go up, uh, upwards. So let's just throw it and shoot it. Yeah. Really awesome to also use it like a ninja. You look like 360. No, I can't do that. Wait, one mouse first. Second try. Boom. Something like that. Something in that direction. Alright. Now we also have dynamite. And dynamite is not just ordinary TNT or the same. You right click to throw it. And but warning, um, when you throw this um, dynamite, it will immediately go off or actually um, trigger itself. And the explosion is half the power of TNT, and you can disable the block damage in the properties file. So let's just throw it. Just see, I right click, it immediately just goes off, and um, I can't hold it and throw it. I can just need to. Throw it that way. 
just like that so really awesome to mess with it all right now let's go over to these things the boomerangs and the boomerangs you throw that at dragons for example you can throw the dragons at the, at the end in dragon i won't go to the end but you can use it to throw the end uh, and a dragon and how long you hold it how more power it got and you hold it by right clicking and yeah so how more power it got how further the boomerang goes and i've got these dummies dummies up here Boom. and you can craft them like this it will also be on the screen and you have a training dummy and we'll use this to shoot these weapons and then whew. oh too low no boom so i actually hit it to saw it moving so really awesome you can also use it to do like a, on a longer distance right now get to the other weapons so now we are at an awesome part, the weapons part, and let's start off with a musket. So you use musket to shoot skeletons. The use is the same as bow and arrow, and it uses musket rounds to shoot these things. And these do very much damage. You can also attach a bayonet to it, and it's with it, um, this one. So this is normal. It's with the bayonet, and it's like a knife. So you can also stab it, stab uh, enemies with it, and. You can only shoot a little, uh, a limited amount of musket rounds, because else the musket will break. And after you shot, uh, shoot a round, you will need about two seconds for reload time. And holding right mouse button reloads it when reloading. Holding right, and uh, well, well re and while well, and well, okay. Holding right mouse right mouse button reloads it, and when reloading, holding right mouse button will uh, increase its aim. Oh, I will just throw it on the ground. So, let's spawn a skeleton. Oh, these freaking creepers need to get away. So, let's first shoot on the creeper. Hmm. Actually, need to hold it like two seconds. Take a shoot. So one, two. One, two. Boom. Boom! So that's with how he use it. I'm sorry that I didn't understand it before, but that's with how he use it, and I won't use his musket round for some reason. But yeah, that's a musket, and it's really easy and uh, weapon when you understand it. So I'm sorry for that. Um, to do this, but let's get over to the crossbow and use the crossbow to shoot at pigs uh, from a distance, of course. And it shoots it shoots further than a bow with small uh, deviation, but it has a reload has a longer reload time. And it shoot crossbow bolts, these things. And holding right mouse button reloads it, and re reload it. Holding right mouse button increases aim. So let's just and then pew, boom. So yeah, really easy weapon. You can also use it on on uh, other mobs, of course. And it does a bit where it glitch with the time for some reason. Oh, almost. Can I actually hit it from this distance? Let's go closer. Boom, dead. So, a pretty powerful weapon, really awesome. And of course, a lot of crossbow mods, but it's just in this mod. So, you can use it in this mod. So, we also got the blowgun. And it already needs to blow with it, of course. And a blowgun, you use it to poison a sheep. And it should fast and accurate, has a small reload time, it shoots blowgun darts, these things, and it's, they are potionous, as I pronounce it right. That means that when you hit a mob, he will become ill, and if a mob is ill, he will get damaged over time and has a small chance to heal from the illness. And it will not kill the um, sheep, but it will leave it with like a uh, health heart, so you actually need one hit and it's dead. And the dart itself doesn't do much damage. Holding right mouse button, it reloads it. Like this. And reload it. Holding right mouse button, increase the power. I should hear it blowing. Boom. Yeah, I see it actually. Poisoned. Ah, you just went in front of it. Yeah, it won't kill them. Of 
of course, when you shoot more arrows or more uh, blowgun uh, things, darts, they will of course die. So yeah, really awesome mod. I love the sound effects. Those things. So yeah, really awesome. And let's get to the last weapon. This is the blunderbuss, and it should like looks like paper. And a blunderbuss, you, you use it to deal with a squad of zombies. Reloads like a m the musket, but quicker. Uses bl uh, blunderbuss shots as ammunition. These things. And when fired, it sh uh, it shoots ten small projectiles with a wide spread. Shooting a mob from nearby deals much more damage than from a longer distance. Let's get it, and let's get a couple of zombies. One extra dead wool in his hand, alright, that's, that's new to me. Right, so reload. Aim and boom! Shoot mob, okay, normal zombies for time. Come on, bro. You got like a recoil, it's actually like your screen goes boom up. Yeah, really awesome weapon. And um, yeah, it's like a shotgun. So it's, it's really hard, uh, handy to kill zombies with it. But we've got a couple of weapons left, so let's check those. So now we are at the other weapons part, and we've got two weapons left. One is the fire rod. And you use the fire rod to cook a pig alive, and well, when you hit it, um, you will set him on fire for a short time, and when it die, you get cooked pork pork chop. And the fire rod has one use and cannot stack, but I'm in creative, so I can use it for a limited time. And it's limited use. So as you see, it will set them on fire. Just wait for them to be dead. One died. So as you see, all the meat they drop is cooked. So you can just eat it and do not need the furnace to cook it and to cook the, cook the raw. Um, all right, let's open this. Now we also have a cannon and I have a cannon over here, as you see. It looks really awesome, I love the modeling. And you use a cannonball to shoot it and you also need gunpowder inventory. So yeah, so you use a cannon to take revenge. On guest, you place it wherever you where whatever you want. It doesn't really matter where and mount it. And when mounted, you can turn the cannon all around and look everywhere, just like this, just like that. And to load the cannon, make sure you have gunpowder inventory and right-click the cannon with a cannonball. So let's right-click it. All right, maybe it's already loaded. That's also an option. Alright, so wait a few seconds and hit shift, or if you have changed that button, uh, the sneak button in your Minecraft options, you it, it's for you, not the button. But for me it's shift, it's a default button to uh, sneak. And just boom, like that. And you can disable block damage in the um, properties file if you want that. So right click, boom, like that. And you also use a gunpowder and shift to shoot. Boom. So sometimes a bit glitchy, but yeah, it's still really awesome. Oh, just like that. And yeah, so this, I love this cannon. It's, it's one of my favorite weapons of this mod, but yeah, so this is the mod. It's got a lot of weapons, a lot of new things, a lot of awesome things just to use in survival. And it's, most times you got like weapon mod, weapons mod, um, use a lot of resources to make these weapons but this one doesn't really so thank you guys for watching i hope you like this hopefully there will be more videos if you want to see more video more mod reviews or other stuff on my channel go over to my channel subscribe if you like like this video and i will see you guys later bye